Hi everyone. So in this session we'll be discussing more on Spark struct type and struct field and we'll see that what's the use of this in Spark. So yes, let's get started. So let's start with the agenda of this video. So what we're gonna learn in this video, right? One is uh, what is schema? We need to understand what what schema is. Then we'll see what are the data types that present in Spark. Then we'll focus mostly on Spark uh, struct type and struct field. And then we'll see like what are the different ways of providing schema. Then we'll see some real world example. Let's get started. First thing that whatever tutorials will do will run with community version of Databricks. So you can just get sign in in this community edition and you can run all this notebook, right? So first let's understand what is schema. So schema defines the structure of the data or data frame in Spark. It defines how the data is stored. To understand this, <coughs> I've created a sample data which you can just create a data frame out of it and if i do a display you will see this is the data that we are getting right like it has first name middle name last name id gen gender salary so now i want to understand what the schema of it right so how you can do that is you can run df dot print schema so print schema is the api provided by spark data frame api with which you can get the schema so if I just run this, so if we, if we just see like how the schema is like you'll get all these column names. Okay, you'll get what are the data types for each column. So if you see for first name string, middle name string, you get gender as string, you get salary as long and you will see nullable equal to true. Now, as you understood that you'll be able to get the schema of it. So it's very important that you know what are the data types present in Spark, right? So data types in Spark has been divided into different categories and in each category there are different types like something like numerical types you get, byte type, you get integer type, you get decimal type. Similarly for string types you will get string type complex types you get different like array type map type struct type we'll be discussing more on complex type uh, in array type and map type in the coming videos right so just to know uh, what you can do is like you can check out the complete list of spark data types it has all the data types that spark provides so you can just scroll down and if you if you are depending on the language if suppose in python you can check all the description of what are this uh, different types present right so it's very important that whenever you create any data you need to provide the data type out of it you need to provide how the data should be stored right with this let's now understand what is struct type and struct field right so if you see the definition of, of this is spark struct type and struct field are used to programmatically specify the schema to the data frame and creating complex columns like nested struct array and maps column right and if you see struct type is a collection of struct fields here two important things are important right uh, one is programmatically specify the schema we'll see like how programmatically we are providing the schema for our data and if you see struct type is a collection of struct field right so what we're gonna do is like we're gonna do a df dot schema this is another api that is provided in spark data frame api what it does it it gives you the schema in struct type and struct field right so if we see clearly struct type is a array of struct fields right so if you see this is a like combination of first name you have middle name you have uh, um, id you have gender and it's uh, it's a list of struct field so if you see this particular definition is correct right struct type is a collection of struct fields now let's understand what what does this struct field is right if you see 
it, it's a class that you can just import from pyspark.sql.types so whatever examples i am showing i am showing in pyspark right so if you see this having like four arguments right what's the name you want to give for that particular column right what's the data type if it is nullable or if you want to give some metadata right nullable equal to true means uh, you are you are giving a hint to the spark that this particular column can be a null column right so th this is a signature or st struct field now let's see so what i did was i just copied one struct field so just the example of it that struct field could be it could be a name so whatever uh, name that you are giving it, it is a string type so this is a data type of it and it is nullable so there could be null values for first name right now with this i hope that you understand what a struct field and what is struct type struct type is nothing but it's a collection of struct fields and struct field is like you provided for each column what's the name what's the um, what's the data type and if it is nullable or not right so now let's see with this what are the different ways to provide schema right option number one so if you see that if i just created our suppose this is a sample data and i use create data frame to convert this like list of uh, list of elements to a data frame right so if you see this does not have any column right this does not have the schema out of it so what you can do is like in a create data frame you can pass a schema with all the all the names right so what it does it it creates the data frame in such a way that it it provided all the names to the columns but if you see the here we are not providing like what's the data type for first name what's the data type for middle name right that is something you can do in option number two so it's a different way of providing the schema this is called a ddl string so basically what you are providing you are providing the first argument you are providing what's the name of it what's the data type then separated by different columns right so that's how you can do uh, to provide a schema for this data so it's similar you create the data frame by providing schema as a second argument right so but most popular uh, is option number three so if we go here so first of all uh, this uh, types should be uh, imported from pyspar.sql.types right and the schema can be provided in this format so it's a struct type right it's a list of struct field so it's a collection of struct field then you can provide with by comma separated all the struct field so it's it's the same so I hope you understood this one. So then it's it's similar. You create the data frame by providing the data, but providing the schema. This is a sing, one way of providing the struct type. There is another way of providing the struct type that is in this format. So if you see what we are saying is it's a struct type, and you add all this struct type, all this uh, struct field into this struct type, right? so uh, this is another so if you see the differences here the here you are providing as a list of struct field but if you if you go here you are providing you are just adding the struct field to that type so i prefer this way so it helps uh, i prefer this way because it helped to add very nested uh, nested uh, column or different uh, uh, array columns or map columns that will be seeing in the upcoming videos right okay so as you understood that uh, you can provide a schema in this way uh, so the same thing can be applied to like while reading the csv file so if you see that i'm reading some csv file from my dbfs location but currently it does not have any column names well, it does not have the schema out of it right the same thing what you can do is like you can create a csv schema with uh, with all the column names and the data types the same thing you can provide it in the spark read api right so if you see this is the spark dot read you provide the schema then you read the csv file right and you got the result so these are different ways of providing the schema i hope that you understood this one
uh, uh, we have we have seen uh, the struct type and struct fill and the usage in Spark. So what we're gonna see in our upcoming videos, right? We'll see different complex data types where it has array type and map type. You will see like how to deal with nested data because in this video we did not see any nested columns because I wanted to make it this video a simple one where you understand what exactly struct field and struct type. Then we'll see like how to deal with JSON data. This is a very important uh, part to understand because most of the data does not come in a very uh, tabular format, right? That comes in a JSON data that you have to do some transformation on top of it, right? So for this, stay tuned and see you in another video. Thank you for tuning in.